Osteoarthritis of the knee is a degenerative joint disease that cannot be cured. As shown on the X-ray, osteoarthritis is associated with a damaged cartilage surface, which impairs pain-free and supple movement of bones in the joint. During an arthroscopic procedure, the orthopaedic surgeon can inspect the joint's cartilage surface and identify the damaged area. The surgeon can then fill up the defect with the injectable plaster with the aid of a needle. The injectable plaster can best be compared with a two-component glue. It consists of a mixture of natural polymers and a cross-linking agent. Initially, the plaster is fluidic, which ensures complete filling of the defect. Upon mixing, the two components settle in a mild chemical reaction, resulting in a mechanically strong three-dimensional network strongly bonding to the damaged cartilage. Once settled, the plaster attracts stem or progenitor cells from neighboring tissues such as cartilage, subchondral bone, bone marrow, and synovial fluid. These cells will populate the plaster, start to divide and produce new cartilage matrix. Eventually, the polymers of the injectable plaster are replaced by newly formed tissue. The injectable plaster protects the damaged cartilage against further erosion and stimulates its regeneration. Injectable plasters have the potential to cure osteoarthritis of the knee.